Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Crab Lord back again. I can say this for the first time in a long time. We got some brand new fresh material today. Today we're gonna be doing something similar to the last video. I tried to do a vocoder effect without using a vocoder. Now, if you don't know what a vocoder is, have you ever seen those memes where they make like a video into a sound like this? Something like that. And that's what we're gonna do today. I've actually watched a lot of tutorials on how to do this and they're all very confusing. I'm gonna break it down so simply that there's gonna be a 100% satisfaction rate. So anyway, before we get in the video, make sure you subscribe and already subscribe notification bell as well so you never miss a video that i post also make sure to check out my description down below a lot of sweet things down there like preset packs all my equipment all my music all my social media support link for the preset packs these numbers aren't even making sense anymore and a distro kid link to get five percent off your sign up so you can music everywhere including TikTok. anyway vocoder effect let's get into it hey drop a like on this video if this is kind of like a Zed type vocal. It's not Zed's vocals, but it's kind of like what he does in his songs. First, I'm going to tell you how to find the vocoder so you can get started. So what I want you to do is go to track and then go to new software instrument track. Now you go into your little chain. Now, whenever I do a software instrument, it brings up bus five and six for some reason. We don't want those. But right here where it says E-Piano, you want to change. So we're going to click this button here and we're going to go down to the Evoc 20 vocoder synth. We're going to go stereo and click it. It's real scary to see all these knobs and like how it's kind of not a good resolution. First, what we're going to do is change the preset so we're going to change it to a vintage vocoder clear voice vocoder also extremely important and the only way it works is if you have the side chain to one of your inputs so for example audio one is what i'm talking on right now this is audio one the vocoder is connected to audio one uh make sure the signals on voc all and now set that aside remember this is your vocoder right here there's no plugins on it yet or anything so what ultimately goes in the vocoder area so for you guys out there that make your own beats and drop your own chords and put together a melody yourself this is perfect because you need one of these green midi things what i found you can do which absolutely is terrible if you want to try it with your vocals you can double click your vocal like this find the flex flex pitch it just like i did there you gotta click this thing you highlight the whole thing and then you go to edit create midi track from flex pitch data Data, and then it puts your vocals into a damn instrument. Yeah, it sounds like sh Now, because I didn't make my own melody, I went into that loop library, and I found a court harpsichord. What I found funny about this is that it just sounds like one of those, like, medieval... Got me feeling like I wanted to make like a medieval style tune. So what I did was I brought the harpsichord right here. You then got to copy and drag this exactly to the clear voice vocoder track. And as you can hear, it's not playing anything. And the reason it's not playing anything is because you didn't put your vocals into the audio one track yet. So once you have that set up, once you have your vocoder with the right settings, you have your melody in the vocoder track, you're ready to go. This little medieval recorder is just extra. Don't worry about it. I wrote a nice little ballad for you guys. So. La, 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 la. John was a man who loved no one and he never gave a shit. He rode from the heavens and found his home. His heart was never within. Oh, John, where are you now? Can I see you? I'm falling in a trap. So hard to always come and ignore. Tiny old man. So now do whatever you want to edit your vocals, which quickly I have an EQ on it. Let me pitch correct it because uh, I suck. And then we'll throw in a compressor really quickly. I'm gonna just ballpark it. Also, let's throw on like a nice little reverb. I'm drinking from a jug. Once you have your vocals somewhat edited, I want you to go into your vocoder actually, and now you can start playing with it. So remember, our vocals are in audio one. As you can see, audio one is in the side chain, so it's connected. What you gotta realize with this is how to edit it. All you gotta do is take these three knob or roos right here. Also, attack and release matters, and sensitivity does as well. Now, what it really does is, now in the vocoder track, you can even mute what you did, and it's gonna transform the notes of the harpsichord into vocals, ready? <laughs> Turn it up. Formant shift. That's going to change the pitch. Do you want it high? That's cool. And the stretch just makes it wider. You can also measure the width of it. All right, that's basically all you gotta do. Because I was so quick, I'm gonna experiment with a bunch of different uh, sounds and see what we can do. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm also insane. This is called Hidden Clues. I am hidden clues. Got hidden clues on my mind. 
time And now I love to unwind Find me in the summertime I, I read that We need to get a piano. Add some reverb to this. Wait. Make it on one heart. Why can't I hear it? What we're gonna do is go into reverb, silver verb, stereo. Before I made this video, I didn't know I'd do this part. If I turn it up a lot, I knew it coming hot. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, 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 oh. Cranberry soup in my pants. Cranberry soup, and I wanna melt dance. Do you know my name is Lance? No, it's not. Well, that's about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Was well, learned something as well. And if you didn't, then whatever. Uh, make sure to drop a like in that video. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think and what I should do next. Also, like I said before, subscribe. If you're not already subscribed. Notification bell as well. And also, my description's chock full of sweet things down below. So if you enjoy sweet things, go ahead and check it out. Anyway, this has been a crab. How to get that vocoder effect in Logic Pro 10 using only stock plugins. And like always, I love you. We out. I have